This is something which I uh, mentioned repeatedly. 10 minutes of your time, you will learn what to do in case of forgetfulness in the prayer. Whether you miss a part or you pray extra, by minus or by adding to the prayer. So Sujood al sahu very simple. You don't have to get master's degree on Sujood al sahu By the way, some people do so, but specialists. You just need to know what to do. Imagine an imam and a mu'mumin, everybody, because he missed the sajda, they just repeated the whole prayer over. Is this the right thing to do? No, of course not. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made it easy. The Prophet sallallahu have forgotten in his prayer a couple times. Once he prayed the four rak'ah prayers, it was dhuhr, he prayed them only two. And once he prayed the four rak'ah prayers, he prayed them five. So once by minus, once by adding. And I believe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made it this way so that the ummah will recognize that Muhammad sallallahu was a human being, subject to things which happen to ordinary human being. Number two, he made him forget so that he would teach us how to rectify any errors happen in the prayer during to, uh, uh, due to forgetfulness. Just pray two sajdas. But if what you forgot is a wajib or is a fard, then you need to make it up, then add the two sajdas by the end, which are known as sajda sahu the two prostrations of making up for forgetfulness. In this case, the Imam forgot one sajda. And he made it so easy for us. He said it was in the last rak'ah. So even if he made the tashahud and he finished, and somebody told him, Ya Shaykh, you only prayed one sajda. We're supposed to, whenever we realize that the Imam have forgotten or is getting ready to pray extra, to say, Subhanallah. And the women would clap in order to alert the Imam. But what's really sad that everybody was there dreaming. Nobody realized. As a friend of mine, one of the doctors was telling me that uh, the Imam once was praying Asr, and he prayed three rakas, and nobody realized. Only one person kept saying Subhanallah. After the prayer is finished, he said, you only pray three rakas. The Imam insisted, no, I prayed four. He said, no, you prayed three. He said, how come that you're the only person who realized? No one figured this out, which means you're mistaken. He said, no, because I have four stores, and in every rak'ah, I audit, you know, one store. So I basically got to do three. There is one store missing. That means there is one rak'ah missing. It's not funny, though, uh, because even the person who was attentive was attentive because of dunya. What I'm trying to say is, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Mu'minun, Qadi aflaha al-Mu'minun, successful indeed are the believers. And their very first quality is, الَّذِينَ هُمْ فِي صَلَاتِهِمْ خَاشِعُونَ Those who tranquil and pay attention in their prayer, they gain khushu'ah in their prayer. 